Z-axis to about the width of his head. Now to make it easier, press slash and uh, tap to edit mode. Okay, first I will uh, I will apply the subdivision surface modifier two and three. Tap to edit mode. Press Control R. Add. Uh, Two loop cuts by scrolling your mouse wheel. Press SX to scale it like this. Press Ctrl R again and another two loop cuts. SX and now A to deselect one. Select these two vertices. Actually, let me align it a little bit better. Or select these two vertices and press E to extrude and Z along the Z axis and extrude it up. Now we want to add another loop cut here and move it closer. The same thing here, Control R. Closer. Another loop cut here in the middle. A to deselect, box selection. Move it down. A, B. Actually, uh, just a. Uh, and B again. Move these up. A and B and B again and move those up a little bit. Just like that. As for material, we're gonna give it kind of gray ish and call it dark. Gray, enter, press slash, and bring the head forward along the y axis. <coughs> Maybe we'll scale it up a little bit. Select the hair, I need to select the hair and to in a little bit. Alright, so what we need now is uh, create some eyelids. So shift D, our plane. Z and scale. Scale X uh, selected, go to the edit mode W subdivide W subdivide uh, A tap enter tap to go out of edit mode modifiers subdivision surface modifier optimal drawing 2 and 3 tap to edit mode A, B move it down rotate Z This one has to be behind the face, but in front of I. And the uh, material. Something like this. 
enter name it I let enter shift D X rotate R Z 180 enter and position it Z all right these two things it's gonna do this later on all right press control s to save your file select the plane shift d bring it here scale tap w subdivide w subdivide tap out of edit mode subserve modifier subdivision two three optimal drawing press s to scale s x we are creating some teeth now and scale down again z press g to grab shift d x Shift D X and scale. Shift D X. All right, one. Hold it on Shift two, three, and four. Select all of them and Control J join selected meshes together and set the origin to geometry Z or right. as for the teeth we are going to apply the white material uh, this one some problem here so select one and two and bring it a little bit forward and let, let his eyes to be open control s yeah that's it all right the thing is that now we want to put the get the whole thing like the these head together now with the face selected we want to set up the because now when you press R to rotate you see it's rotating along the pivot point so we need to set the pivot point somewhere here it would be ideal in between these two vertices somewhere here we don't have a vertex here so we can select one hold down the shift to select this one press shift s cursor to select it now tap out tap out of edit mode and press origin origin to 3d cursor and now when you press r you see the the head is rotating the right way but we need to give all the all the components i mean the child and parent relationship which means that if the head is going to be rotating the other other parts are going to be rotating so the mouth background select the mouth background and then shift and select the face press ctrl p object the same thing eyes background select it shift select the face ctrl p object go to the front view come on